The basis for shot efficiency is expected goals, also called X goals. That's the probability of a shot going in, distance to the goal, the angle, opposition pressure from defenders and the position of the goalkeeper are all taken into account for calculating goal probability. If the goal probability is very low, like here, but the player still scores, that means his efficiency was above average. In order to draw conclusions as to how efficient a player is at shooting over the long term, his cumulative XG values are compared with the number of goals he scored from them. For example, Robert Lewandowski's eight shots in the game against Borussia Mönchengladbach in 2020-21 achieved a cumulative XG of 1.88. In reality, he scored three goals, meaning the striker exceeded his theoretical number of goals by 1.12. His shot efficiency from that game is therefore plus 1.12. That's an outstanding level of efficiency for a single match. Looking at those values over a whole season, you can create a ranking that clearly shows which players were most clinical. In the same way, an entire team's efficiency in front of goal can be seen, either for a match day or over the course of a campaign. Going forward, shot efficiency will help viewers better understand the performances of their players and their team in front of goal live in a game.